Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Parker's Corner. The biggest gob in sport. We say the things on here that nobody dare say. Uh, uh, big shout out to all them that have liked and subscribed and left a comment last few days. Well done. Thanks for sharing videos. It does help. Right. Paul Smith, a.k.a. Jim Royal. Most popular retired 41-year-old boxer in Liverpool. How are you doing, Smigger Smeg? Hope you're well. I keep turning on me TV and every 10 minutes I keep seeing a Paul Smith Sunday sermon, Monday mass, or Paul Smith's opinion on this, or Paul Smith says this, Paul Smith says that. He didn't used to say much, but he's piped up. Paul Smith's now managing and advising Darren Till. And he's uh, probably going out to Riyadh because he's got meetings out there to match Darren Till in a boxing match with these misfit slots. Well, this is how I look at it, right? Why would you be getting involved with that misfit stuff? Why? Why? When you're boxing through and through and you manage fighters, right? Why would you want to get involved with that misfit stuff? Why don't you let Darren Till start from the beginning in his boxing career and get some wins on board? But no, people are now saying, are now seeing that, well, let's get a few quid out of this misfits job. Hey, let's have a few quid out of it and see where it takes us, which I can understand. But surely, board registered managers shouldn't be push going straight to misfits table, should they? Eh? It's unbelievable. They all can't wait to get their noses in the trough. Well, I think I need to go out to Riyadh and make a few fights for Darren Till. Darren Till's a UFC guy, isn't he? He's not a boxer. Well, they get a sniff of this misfits. And they want to get the noses in the trough. Paul Smith, you should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. But then again, what do you expect from Paul Smith, eh? What do we expect from him? His career was based on belly aching um, and being part of the Four Brothers. He was weak, weak link out at Four Brothers, in my opinion. When they give Paul Smith slots, it was because they were keeping others sweet. Well, who's his best win? He's been in with James DeGale, George Groves, Andre Ward, Zuga, and Abraham twice. So he's had six big fights, yeah? I lost all of them. Lost all of them. That's it. That's the small Paul Smith CV. Lost all of them. His best win is Tony Dodson. That is it. Shot caller, Paul Smith. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Why would you want to put Darren Till in a misfits fight? Why don't you just get him on straight and narrow in UFC and get him training correctly, get him fighting at his correct what the correct weight? Still a young man. Or if he's gonna do boxing, get him start from the beginning, get him in with Tommy Fury. On a proper boxing show. Don't be just turning up at these events, Paul Smith, and deciding that you want to be involved with this misfits. Because that's the problem. Ex-licensee people like Paul Smith, who've got a laminate as a manager, now feel that they have to be involved with all this misfits and all that, and it's for money. Don't talk about legacy. It's about money, and it's becoming embarrassing now. Really, really, really embarrassing. For a simple reason, we've got Eddie Hills, the 6 and all Iceman, in the last couple of days, he's talking about Johnny Fisher, a 10 and 0 prospect, nine by way off, which is all very well, but he's not beat anybody with a heartbeat or a pulse in their wrist yet, has he? Johnny Fisher, and already they're talking about doing crossover fights with him. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Why don't they let Johnny Fisher's career run its course at boxing? He's got one at belts 
on board now, area belt. So he's got a level one on board now. Go again. Go for a second belt now. Go for an English title. Hey, you'll get there and or a Commonwealth, but Johnny Fisher should let his boxing course run its career. And if he fails, then have a go at somewhere else. But you can see where this is going now, can't you? Anybody who thinks that they're not going to make it now as a boxer is just going to jump to misfits. That's all it's going to be. It's as simple as that. Or anybody who's got a bit of a following and they get clipped, they're definitely going to jump to misfits. It's like a plan B for boxers that have failed now. This is that, this is, and for managers who feel like they can't get a few quid with their boxers. There, there's always misfits, isn't it? Everybody's playing both sides at fence. And the sooner this stops, the sooner people who have got laminates, right? They need banning and keeping away from these shows, these misfit shows. Ban them. Kick them out. Kick them out. That's the only way to do it. But they can't, can they? Because they're finding ways around everything. That's the problem. And like I've just said there, people keep going on about all these great fights, this and that. But as soon as it looks like they're not going to get in on these great fights, if there's no room at the inn, oh, oh, we need to do a misfit. We need a meeting for misfits. I need to fly out to Riyadh and see, see if there's anything for my guy, Darren Till. I'm Paul Smith. I'm a Smith. Riyadh's the name. Money's the game. It's unbelievable. It's like, it's like going flat out in it in business and saying, "Well, it don't matter if I go bankrupt. I've got a plan B." There shouldn't be no plan Bs. You should be all or nothing and put everything you've got into it. And if you fail, you fail, don't you? You mind all that plan B knackers. All right. That's about it, really. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. I don't want to see laminate holders coming out in interviews like Paul Smith, the real gone kid, a.k.a. Jim Royal. I don't want to see big Jim Royal coming out in interviews, going on about boxes he's got, and they're going to get matched if they can't done out with them, they're going to go misfits route. I don't want to hear that, because it really means you went misfits through anyway, because it's pure, pure... We all utter greed. We're probably going to see Dylan White go this route as well. And anybody who takes drugs and gets banned in boxing or who's out of favour or can't get a licence, they're going to go the misfits route, aren't they? That's what's happening. It's in front of our eyeballs. Well, you can see, can't you? All right. Well, thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. Pop, pop, bang. Peace out. Thanks for sharing as well. Booyaka.